Hello, and welcome to episode 43 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making some bronze boots and a bronze helmet. Now, whilst it might sound all good, in actual fact, there is a price to pay for both of them. So let's take a look at this and decide whether it's worth, whether they are worth it or not. You need to make both in the anvil and you will need, let's show you actually in the anvil. The recipe to make the bronze boots is three burlap, ten rope and three bronze. <coughs> oh excuse me, sorry, I just, there must be a lot of dust in here. And three bronze ingots, that's what you need and you'll need hammer and tongs. Thankfully I've got the iron tongs now so it makes it a little quicker. So here's the bronze boots, let's take it and let's compare them to what we're wearing. So our current boots give us, actually let's start making the helmet. So the helmet needs three burlap, three bronze ingots, same tools. Let's select that and OK. So let's take a look at the boots while the helmet's getting made. So currently we've got 6 armour from the leather boots and 10 movement speed and I do like extra movement speed so that is very good. The bronze boots just give us 10 armour so for 4 extra armour is it worth it? Well when the creatures get to being more difficult when we head for the third shard then I will try them. Um, but at the moment I'm going to stick with my plus 10 run speed but when we do go after the third shard I'm going to wear the bronze boots so I'll put them there for now ok we're just waiting for this helmet to finish and then we will compare that and I want to do a little experiment with the helmet so you can all see clearly whether it's again worth wearing the helmet at the moment I mean obviously when we get to more difficult creatures every last bit of armour is going to matter so then the bronze boots will definitely be need to be worn let's quickly drop this stuff back off because I don't need it now burlap over here yeah I know what you're all thinking what a mess but it's an organised mess OK, so let's go grab our new shiny new helm after grabbing some more honey because I'm still working my way towards getting enough chocolate OK, so let's take a look at the helm let's grab our current hat because we can only wear one or the other so currently we're getting minus three to warmth so we can travel in the hot climate climate um, but if we wear the bronze helmet not only are we going to get uh, 11 extra armor so that's 11 points into our armor it's going to impede our movement speed a little by minus three but here's the important thing we're not going to have this minus three to warming anymore so in a hot climate if i now wear my bronze helmet am i going to get stamina drain uh let's go see it's all well and good me asking that but let's actually go and take a look and what i'll do is i'll switch back to my bedouin hat if i need to but 11 extra armor you can't grumble at so let's go back to where it's nice and hot and test out this new helm. Let's go to Cassiopeia and let's see if we get stamina drain. What do you reckon? No we don't. So there we go, we don't need to wear the Bedouin helmet. We can go with the extra armour which is going to prove invaluable no doubt so now I'm only getting 72% of the damage so that helmet if I take it off you can see knocks off 6% 
of the uh, damage. Yeah, six percent. So that's definitely cool. And we're not getting stamina drain. So Bedouin helmet, you're going on a pile somewhere near my tailoring hut. Okay, so we've got some stamina. Let's go chop some more bamboo because I still need to make that 100 chocolate for us to do this adventure to the third shard. And I should be able to make a load of chocolate um, get a load more of this. I think I've got about 70 bamboo back at my base, and maybe even more. And then in a minute we can see if we can find a creature to test out this new amount of armour on. Although you know what, the only thing that's going to challenge me now is the uh, gorillas. Well, it's nice to know we don't have to wear the Bedouin armour in this area of the map. There is a load of bamboo. There's just tons of it. Sorry about the darkness. I will be going back to the light. Now that I've chopped them all down. Okay, let's do some more around this while I've got a bit of stamina left. Right, that's my stamina drained. Let's now go back and see how our chocolate is doing. How apt that that message would just come up as I was about to say it. Okay, now let's sleep in the bed because I want to spawn all the gorillas. Because Oh, I didn't know that. That's the window. <laughs> I just opened the window. That's cool. You can open the windows. I can't even find the door in. Oh, here it is. So, let's sleep, because I want to respawn, and I want to get my stamina back. Okay, that should have now respawned all of the gorillas and the other creatures, scorpions, but I've got a hundred herbal tea so I'm not worried about the scorpions. Um, let's grab some water and then we can go try out this extra armour, this helmet. In fact, let's try the boots as well, why not? So I won't be able to run as quick, never mind. What are we getting now? So, 70%, so 30% of the damage I won't be getting anymore. So, that's cool. Okay, let's grab the honey. Oh yeah, we're getting lots of bamboo. Let's go back to the table. So we got that chocolate. Let's now make a load of sugar because we've not finished making chocolate yet.
So we're getting there chocolate wise. Remember I'm trying to get to a hundred. I've got my hundred apple pies, so I just need the hundred chocolate. Okay, so now let's drop the honey back down. We've got a load of sugar being made, so that'll be a load more chocolate that we can make. And hopefully we'll have a load more honey by then. Let's drop off this Bedouin helmet, because I don't actually need it at the moment. That may change, of course. Uh, let's drop the ropes back down. I don't want to risk dying and losing them unnecessarily. And I may as well... Well, I'm not going to drop the shoes. I don't know if I want to yet. Let's now go see if I've respawned everything. So we'll go back to Perseus. Quit my sword. And let's go hunting. Now, which is the best way to go? Oh, there's three red mobs dots down here. Yeah, I can see them over there. Can I get to them? Oh, I can. Must have cut a path through. Oh, my health is still going down quickly. You know what? I'm switching back to them other boots. Oh, there's a scorpion, and it's going to kill me. Look at that. I didn't heal in time. Oh, well. I had to show you a death or two. What did I lose? Five traps, 22 water. I can live with that. Now, I'm going to go and get that scorpion, because that was just beyond annoying. Scorpions always catch me out. I didn't see there was a scorpion there, and by the time I reacted, of course, it was far too late. So which direction? I went south, towards here. I'll know where I was at, because I'll see the stuff dropped on the ground. Death is very easy. over this way. Oh, there we go. There's the pelts. Where's that blinking scorpion? I didn't get an emerald chip either. You'd have thought the game would have at least given me that. Because that is, after all, what I'm after. No, just a copper coin. I've still got to cut down so much of this forest or jungle I should say I'm so glad that it's not a heavy penalty for dying <laughs> otherwise I'd keep paying oh here we go, here's a customer we're looking for emerald chips 75 of them to be exact Oh, and there's an emerald chip. One down, 74 to go. Here's another customer. Emerald chip? No, coins. That's just rock. You see my amulet's keeping my health up and my energy if I used it. mind the map. So really I should go this direction now. I think I'm going to need to cut a path. Let's chop some of these down. Two scorpions. I need to get revenge on them. Oh here's the sugar cane. There's the timer, but I'm going to show me killing these scorpions.
Where have they run off to? How oh, peculiar. Why on earth did they want to go so far to get to little old me? Right, there's one down. Let's see if they give me a bone chip. First though, let's drink some tea. There we go. Poison dealt with. Oh, and it looks like they've just given stingers no emerald chip. Never mind. Okay, well there we go. We've got one emerald chip. Like I say, 74 more to go. But if we look at what else I needed for the next level. So I need to get another piece of the force of nature, which I'm working my way towards, equipment and food wise. Then I'll need 10 honey, but it's these that are the killer. The, 10, the 15 onyx chips. I'm probably going to find that in the next zone, these drop off of the creatures. I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. The time has gone. I better call it here. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Oh, and on a last note, I'm definitely switching back my boots. I prefer that extra speed. Goodbye.